Hello guys, assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another video. So uh, today I am having some mahashi and some roka salad. And so this is mahashi is stuffed vegetables. So we have some cabbage mahashi. We have some grape leaves and dolma. We have some kusa, which is zucchini. Some tomato, some green pepper, and um, this is just like imagine um, cabbage rolls, but there's no meat inside. As far as I know, I think it's just rice and tomatoes and herbs cooked in like a tomato in like a water tomato broth or something. And then we have some roca salad with this little light vinaigrette with tomatoes. It looks really, really yummy. I'm craving something fresh and yummy like this. So um, I'm going to save it. And let's dig in. So let's just spread this on here. This is pomegranate molasses, which is just a molasses made out of pomegranates. And I'm just going to have some water because I'm trying not to drink sugary drinks. They eat with spoons mostly here. Um, I've noticed for everything. Hi, baby girl. So here we go. <laughs> Can you move your ears? Yum. Oh my gosh. And it's a hot dish. Meal times are a hassle. What can I say? Yeah, it's cool. so, some people have asked me, I saw some comments, and I've gotten personal messages, people asking me, you know, what is the hardest thing for you about being a revert, Muslim revert? Get the mahashi with you, baby. Mmm. Nice. Delicious mahashi. Hello. What is the toughest part, like I said, about being a Muslim revert, uh, about being a Muslim revert, something that you found difficult? Because there are a lot of difficulties that I've encountered, uh, mostly personal. So I'll go into that a bit. Number one, and I think it's probably obvious, is dealing with emotions, anger, learning to develop sabr, a moderate, cool attitude, um, keeping that kindness no matter what, and that is very hard, you know, kind of not arguing back, backbiting, no demeaning people's character. And I know people think, you know, that's why I delete live streams or videos that don't put me in the best light or where I'm triggered with anger. And I do it because I don't like to have that type of emotional response within myself. I don't like that on display. It's one of my weaknesses having to try to be calm and collected in situations that where I'm challenged, where I'm challenged to be triggered. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you like the cabbage the most? I would like to try it, yeah. Okay. You will love this. Mm. It's so good, huh? The spices with the cabbage are I nice. know. Oh my <laughs> Enjoy your food, hun. You too, babe. I'll save them some cabbage. I know I love that. This is all I've had so far today. I had a iced Americano um, and I did some exercise. So I mean, you'll see in my, uh, check out our couple's vlog. We did some exercise in the desert. <laughs> Everyone has their own pace, you know? So I did more walking than that because that's like additional walking based on like, we had to go to a market. But the humidity was so bad. I just didn't feel like filming. I didn't do much, much walking, but you know. Anyway, this is a stuffed tomato by the way. So those are, those are things that I struggle with. And sabr is like an Arabic word for like patience and kind of like stoicism in Islam, we're taught to pray to Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala through everything, any hardships, and have patience and faith help us with what's right for us. So because I'm not used to being religious, I've only been a revert for like seven, maybe six or seven months, it's been an adjustment for me to remember my faith when dealing with difficult situations and not be so reactionary. So that's been challenging for me. What else has been challenging is being judged as a revert, not feeling like I'm good enough, not feeling, feeling like, you know, I'm good enough to be a Muslim. I have to remind myself that my relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is my, my own and no one has a right to to judge that from the outside except for God. So this is like a vegetarian meal actually. It's a vegan meal but because it's food I enjoy I don't really notice. <laughs> Sometimes I crave just having something meatless you know. So that is, has been challenging for me you know. I think a lot of new reverts go through that and we need, you know, we need patience as well with people, um, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to... By the way, subhanahu wa ta'ala is something that you say after acknowledging Allah. Same thing as you would say peace be upon him when you were referring to the Prophet. Or any Prophets. It's a learning experience. I mean, I'm not going to know everything. I'm not going to have the whole Quran read out in like, uh, you know, six months or right away. So I'm just trying to be patient with myself and to learn patience myself and focus on my relationship with God and setting roots here and, and you know, realizing our goals which is going to take so much work. Um, I've just been, you know, really horribly struggling with my eating disorder. And so anyways, I like kind of like, I, <laughs> my video got interrupted and I forget where I was. But anyway, basically another thing I struggle with um, is, you know, moderation. Uh, Islam very believes very much in moderation, especially when it comes to eating and drinking. Now, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very merciful and forgiving, especially with people who have eating disorders or, you know, 
mental health issues that can affect their food consumption. Um, food was, you know, going back to childhood was such a comfort for me. And those habits, that meant that those mental blocks, the, you know, everything, the disease, everything just makes it so hard to deal with. But, you know, I really, really want to feel better and improve my health. And I want to be more moderate in every way, not just dress. I mean, it started with dress, with wearing the hijab, but I want to be moderate in my mood, um, with my temper. And I want to also apply that to food. Hopefully I can become addicted to the routine of this daily exercise, meeting my goal there. This will not cut easy. I really want to try the kusa, zucchini. If you have not, if you have not had stuffed zucchini, Middle Eastern style, you have to try it. So many different cultures have their own form of stuffed vegetables as well. So every time I veer off path, I will get right back on. And inshallah, I will learn these values that Islam teaches sooner than later. They're not easy for me, but beneficial change never is. And that's because we have like lessons to learn in that, you know? Plain and simple. I have this snack I've been eating. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna have probably a yogurt after in a little while. If you guys like crispy, salty, kind of vinegary snacks, they're so good. My favorite snack as a kid actually was cucumber sliced up with vinegar. Honestly, I know people are gonna say, well, white rice is not good for your glycemic index, whatever. Um, but it actually feels really nice on my tummy. Like it actually feels good on my digestive system. So I'll just finish the green pepper, some salad, and then I'll be done. So that's uh, to answer your question about that. I also discovered when I went up today that I wore pants, like jeggings, and one of these long shirts. I don't like dressing this way, really. I like wearing a baya. I like wearing Islamic dress. It's hot no matter what for me. If my head's covered, it's hot. So I feel more comfortable without people seeing any shape of me. Not just because I'm overweight, because <laughs> the argument doesn't make sense. My past behavior I used before reverting, I was wearing the, the most skimpiest things you could find. You know, I'm not ashamed of my body shape to hide it. The reason I hide it is because I don't want people to, you know, I, I just, I need to be more modest and, and, and I find this too revealing when I'm like standing up and walking around. So I feel more comfortable, I'll actually say I feel more comfortable in the abaya. So maybe in these videos I'll wear some shirts, but I'll go like abaya. <laughs> Anyways guys, so yeah, be sure to check out our, sorry. Oh, I got dressing on there. Our couples channel video. I, we plan on doing, I, we plan on doing more regular videos now. And we started that channel, you know, we wanted to do vlogs here in Kuwait, but we also wanted to travel and do like couples travel vlogs. So, but the, the, the traveling took a bit of a back burner and now we're trying to get back into doing vlogs and in the future, inshallah, we will travel and we can do some vlogs for you guys. So if you want to see that, the link to our channel's in the description. Fupa, fat upper pubic area. Chubby, it's chubby. Do you have a chubby kitty? Mine's like lopsided.